Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing finally the next installment of my top 10 per colors. I have not done one of these since November. <laughs> um, basically what I do is I go through my collection and I'm going to choose my favorite 10 of each color. So I have done red and orange um, and now I got to yellow and yellow is one of my favorite nail polish colors to wear of all times. Uh, so it's kind of hard to pick my top 10 of these. In this video I have both indie and mainstream polishes. Everything that's available uh, right now I will link in the description box below. I will also link my Instagram page where I will have more swatches of these 10 polishes. So I have like four categories that I enjoy wearing yellows and that's how I'm going to divide this video up into. So the first category I have is pastels and my absolute 100% favorite pastel yellow of all time is Girls Just Wanna Have Sun by China Glaze. Um, this, it doesn't have the best formula ever but it is one of the most beautiful finished manicures ever. Um, it is gorgeous matte, it is gorgeous glossy, it's just so, so beautiful. I do three coats of this. Um, I'm about a third of the way done with my bottle, and it hasn't thickened up to two coats yet. Um, and if I do too thick of coats for it, I get these little bubbles through it, but the three coats, the three thin coats, totally worth it for me. I really, really enjoy this polish. The next pastel I have is from Jamberry and this is Zest. I did the little quotes because it's not exactly as pastel as you would imagine like the previous China Glaze polish was, but it is definitely pastel in that it is a very, very whited out yellow. Perfect in two coats, really easy to use, easy to work with. The brushes are nice. Seriously, probably my favorite brushes of all time would be the Jamberry brushes. Anyway, a beautiful manicure. I love these pastels during the springtime and um, going into the summer, so I'm still on this kick of these pastels right now, leading into I'm on the kick of the neons as well, so I really enjoy these right now. So in the summertime, I really enjoy a neon yellow, and to start us off, we have another China Glaze, and this is in the shade Whip It Good. It is a very whited out neon yellow. It's not that bright highlighter in your face yellow, but it's a very light pastel -y neon yellow. Perfect in two coats. Again, easy to use, easy to work with. Um, it's easier than Girls Just Want to Have Sun, but I prefer that one actually, but this one is still so beautiful, and I do reach for it quite a bit in the summertime. So in my swatch photo, you're gonna see two coats of Whip It Good in a glossy top coat. Next up is a relatively new one in my collection to me, and this is from the brand Tahitian Sun. I did just recently do a swatch and review of this entire collection, so I will link that in my description box below as well. This is just in the shade Neon Yellow. It's very beautiful, very bright. You don't need a white base color to get this super duper bright yellow on your nails, and I really, really appreciate that. Completely opaque, two to three coats, and you will see three coats in my swatch photo. The next one is easily the newest one in my collection, and this is Dreams in Which I'm Dying from Lay Polish, Ellie Polish. I said Lay Polish. Um, it's a brand that's totally new to me. This was my first purchase with them, and I am so freaking pleased with this. This is a bright neon highlighter yellow with these little green um, glitters. They are metallic glitters ranging from a few different sizes. Nothing too large where it's going to be like you're fishing or anything like that, but fantastic formula, easy to use, two coats. In my swatch photo, you're gonna see two coats of Dreams in Which I'm Dying in a glossy top coat. The next category um, is just bright sunshiny yellow. Um, I really love these for year round, honestly. Like during the winter when it can get like really dreary outside, I really like these for like just something bright, like a pop of like happiness or something. So I really like these for those times. Um, summer, obviously they're perfect. They're just beautiful. So the first one I'm gonna talk to you about is my Twin Mimi from OPI. 
Um, I really like this one. It has a nice two coat formula, uh, but I will say that I have a couple OPIs that are in this exact same shade, same formula, same everything. The only difference with this one is it has the Hello Kitty top. Honestly, their yellows are just kind of repetitive in my opinion, so they're all very nice, but the Hello Kitty top is the only reason I chose this one over, um, what was the, the Tweety one from the Fiji collection that just came out? Exotic birds don't tweet. So it's really the only reason I chose this one, but again, great brush, great application. In my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats and a glossy top coat. Next up is from a brand called Serendipity. I did just recently review this entire collection on my channel as well. Again, I will link that in the description box below. But this is Bottomless Mimosas. This is another bright, super happy, sunshiny yellow cream polish that's just totally perfect in two coats. Depending on your application, you may want three coats, but honestly, this is really, really fantastic on two coats. I believe Serendipity has one of my favorite cream formulas as far as indies go, so I am really into them for that main reason. So in my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of bottomless mimosas and a glossy top coat. And the last category is mustards, which I love during the fall time um, particularly, but honestly it's a year-round color for me. I am really big into those um, ugly pretty shades, and this is one of those shades that like I could wear every day for the rest of my life. So those ugly mustard yellows, the baby poop, throw up, whatever they're whatever they're categorized in your brain as, I call them mustards, it's the least disgusting, but um, I really enjoy them. So the first one I'm going to talk to you about is Soul from I Am Custom Color. This is such a beautiful mustardy shade, and it has these like red flakies with holographic, uh, a linear holographic effect to it, and these tiny micro shimmers that are golden, and it's just sheer beauty in a bottle. I really, really enjoy this. Of course, I really enjoy anything from my own custom color, but this is one of the standouts in my opinion from her. So this is totally opaque in two coats, easy to work with. Again, just perfection. The next one is from another favorite indie of mine, and this is called The Blind Banker. And this is one that leans right in between of mustard and olive, but I always wear this when I want a mustard look on my nail, like that yellow look. So, so for that reason, I categorize this as absolutely yellow. This is also kind of a shapeshifter where, depending on the tones in your skin, I have a lot of olive tones in my skin, and putting a color like this on is going to make it appear more yellow than olive, but if you have more yellowy undertones to your skin, um, it'll show up more olivey on you. So it's really, really neat in that way. In my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of the Blind Banker and a glossy top coat. And last but not least is from Fleur de Lis, and this is called Pass the Mustard. This is probably my most reached for yellow mustard color of all time. Um, Beautiful formula, two coats, it goes with so many things. I pair this often with grays, whites, blacks, hollow, I mean it's just beautiful. Like it's so easy to use. Um, so in my swatch photo you're going to see two coats of pasta mustard and a glossy top coat. And that is it. Let me know in the comments below guys what you thought of this video. Um, maybe I'll be able to get one up before six months comes and goes again. I'd like to do this more than twice a year. It's just finding time to do it and like quiet time where I don't have toddlers running around. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below what you thought of these yellow polishes. If you enjoy yellows, what some of your favorite yellows are. Next up on this list will be green and I also hope to get back to the Swatch My Collection videos. Um, I've got probably 30 polishes on my computer swatched and ready to roll. It's just finding a minute to sit down to talk about them. That seems like near impossible at this moment, but I will make it there. I will get back on track with that. It might not be every week. I might be able to do 10 polishes per video, but do it bi-weekly. I have no idea yet. I'm going to figure something out. Thanks for sticking with it though. Give this video a big old thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more from me and I'll talk to you guys again next time.